Brits lose almost 43 nights sleep a year worrying about making life decisions. So to help, Aviva has created the Aviva Decision School. Lesson 1. Making Decisions Under Pressure Hello, welcome to Aviva's Decision School. I'm joined by broadcaster and author Katie Piper. So, Katie, perhaps you can tell me about a time in your life when you have felt you needed to make a decision under pressure. I think as adults, we make daily decisions under pressure. I know I've had to make difficult choices in my professional and in my personal life. So, for example, I've had to miss out on work opportunities because my job as a mother has had to come first. And actually, these decisions were made under pressure, but the choices I've made, I'm really proud of. Sometimes the fear that comes with making a decision under pressure is the fear of making the wrong decision. Many people react to a pressured situation by running through all the potential disaster scenarios. Which, of course, then adds more pressure. Yes, exactly. Whereas actually some of the best decisions are the ones made under pressure. This is the thing to focus on. Now we're going to get a decision-making tip from a fascinating expert. I'm Leroy Logan, former superintendent and founding member of the Black Police Association. One of the most difficult decisions I faced was to actually join the force. I was a research scientist at the time, but I couldn't ignore the calling to make changes from within. But I had to ask myself, why leave the comfortable world of science in a great hospital to go and work in a tough profession? A profession that was steeped in casual racism and was a hostile environment for a black person. Despite that, I made the leap and I went to do many things I'm proud of. So I feel I definitely made the right decision. A tip for making decisions under pressure. Be present of mind and appraise the situation. Avoid jumping to conclusions. Resist going down a path that reflects your biases or fears rather than what is actually going on. Katie, do you have a tip for the viewers at home? Something which I feel is really beneficial is to talk. Talk through the decision. It might be with a partner, a friend or a colleague, but by articulating your decision process to someone else, it often helps to clarify your rationale. I'd also add to run through the scenario in your head. Practice how the situation might play out and think through the decision you may have to make. It can be in any context, career, relationship, education, financial, whatever it might be. So then if it does happen, it won't feel that it's so overwhelming. Exactly. Thanks, Katie. Lesson notes. How to make decisions under pressure. Be present of mind and appraise the situation. Resist jumping to assumptions based on your biases and fears. Articulate your decision process to a friend or family member before making it. Run potential pressure situations through in your mind. Watch more lessons at aviva.co.uk forward slash decision school. It takes Aviva.